Hey, do something fiction man. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you know, hi, I'm good. <laughs> Today's video, we are going to be joined by my Snapchat AI, and that is because I am going on holiday with my boyfriend and his parents, and I need to decide what books to take with me. But I don't know what books, so I will be asking my Snapchat AI for help. Also. This was the book I was reading, but I decided to DNF it and I only got like 60 pages in and that is because um, I could not get into it. So I'm just going to give it to my boyfriend so my Snapchat AI will also be choosing what book I'm going to now be reading. So what I'm going to do is um, count my bookshelves. So I technically have, have four bookshelves, but two of them are merged. Because my main bookshelf, which is over here, is actually two different bookshelf, book, bookshelves stacked on top of each other. And then I have my series shelf, which is what you guys are on. And then I have my series overflow shelf, which is here. So the plan is I will give tell my AI to pick a number from 1 to 4, which will correspond to my bookshelves. And then I will... Um, count for how many shelves each bookshelf has and then I will like for example the top one only has two shelves so I'll be like pick one or two and then so on and so forth and then I'll count how many books are on that shelf and then I'll tell them get snapchat to pick the number but I won't include books I've read basically that sounds really complicated but let's just Go. I know I literally just explained my bookshelves but just wanted to show you so this is my main one it's two bookshelves put on top of each other if you've watched my bookshelf tour you know and then my series shelf and then my series overflow shelf so it will be one two three four and then it'll be two shelves for this one three shelves for this one uh, this one will actually only have eight shelves because that one there is Sherlock and I've read all of those. And then this one is three shelves and then however many books. But yeah. As you guys saw for the first book. So I'm going to be doing this four times. So this first time will be for book that I'm going to read. And I'm terrified. And she has chosen my series shelf. So that, inc that is six shelves. And now I'm going to tell her to pick a number from one to six. No, there's actually nine shelves. I'm going to get her to pick a number from one to eight. Because one of them is full of Sherlock Holmes books. And I've read them all. So, because um, this is basically a romance series shelf of Elizabeth Lemon, Ashley Helen Blake, I'm only going to include six Crimson Cranes, Spin for uh, Dawn, and her reading cousin, Iris Kelly. The reasons being, I've read Delilah Green and Astrid Parker, and For Dragon's Promise and Unravel for Dusk are part of the series, and I haven't started them yet. My AI has chosen for book I'm going to be reading, but first I'm going to show you the matching bookmark because I like to match my book. So this is the bookmark. I've tried my best to match it, and the book is *Spin for Dawn* by Elizabeth Lim, and I am so excited to read this because I've read *Reflection* by her, which is part of the Disney *Twisted Tales*, where it's basically what if. 
something in the film didn't happen and I think or like happened and for Mulan one which is Reflection which is my favourite one and it's what if Mulan had to go to the underworld but yeah I'm so excited for this I think it will be a five star but let's fill out my book and then let's start choosing you know my um Let's choose for once I'm going to be taken on a holiday. Next we've chosen. Now let's pick the first book that I'm going to be taking on a holiday. Again, my Snapchat. AI chose the number three for what shelf I'm going to be picking from and that is my series shelf. Hopefully she doesn't pick number seven. <laughs> my Snapchat AI chose number five and I just looked and counted in my head what shelf it is and it's my dark romance shelf and there's quite literally only one book um, that it can be because I have my soul trilogy by Harley LaRue and then I have the you know the twisted series or whatever it's called by Emily McIntyre you know where she picks you know, for, uh, Disney stories and makes them into a dark romance. So the first one is... Is it the Peter Pan one? Oh, it's the Peter Pan one! It's hooked! I'm so excited. Now time to pick a matching bookmark. This is my bookmark collection. I have a bunch. Some of them are homemade, some aren't. So for important colours I would say is black, white, red on this one. Oh my god, pardon me. So let's pick. I would say <laughs> I have a habit of whenever I get a, get a new bookmark, I typically use them and these are my newest bookmark. If you watch my book haul, I spoke about these ones. So black and red. Do I have a better suited number? No, I don't think I do. No. Uh, so what I do is I pick one and then I just hold it up to the book, like so. This one doesn't match. Does this one? Well, I think this one kind of does, so maybe. It matches more in real life than not. This one? No. What about this one? Oh, I actually prefer this one. It, there's kind of blues. The blues are more, like, you can, they pop out more on camera. Well, actually, I say that. It's like bluish grey. I'll say this one. So let's look in my little pot. I chose for bookmark and it's a My Neighbor Dog Door one. And I was stuck between this one and a Howl's Moving Castle one. Looks like hell. There we go. But I ended up going with this one. So this will be the first book that I'm taking. Oh, this is for Blair. He wants revenge, but he wants her more. James has, has oh my god. James has always had one agenda, destroy his enemy Peter Michaels, but when Peter's 20 year old daughter Wendy shows up in James's bar, he sees his way in. Seduce the girl and use her for his revenge. It's the perfect plan until James's organisation begins to crumble. Suddenly he has to find the traitor in his midst and his plan for revenge gets murky as James starts to see Wendy as morning, just a pawn in his game. Wendy has been cloistered away most of her life by, the cold, by her cold, wealthy father, but a spontaneous night out with friends turns into an intense and addictive love affair 
dark and brooding James. As much as she knows James is dangerous, Wendy can't seem to shake her desire for him. But as the relationship grows more heated and she learns more about the world he moves in, she finds herself unsure if she's falling for the man known as James or the monster known as Hook. I'm so excited. I follow her on, I'm not sure if I follow her on TikTok, but I do follow Emily McIntyre on my fictional route Instagram. And I think she's really funny. My AI chose Bookshelf 2, which is this one. So now I'm going to give her 1 to 3 and then, you know, count for shelf. This is the shelf she picked and of them all I have not read 19. I'm debating. I'm going to include this, but if she says 1, I'm not going to be very happy. She didn't pick number one, thank God. But she did pick number seven, which is The Night House by Joan Nesbo. Nesbo, I think that's what it is. And it's a hardcover, so I will not be needing a bookmark. And the blurb, blurb, the blurb is, in the wake of his parents' tragic deaths, 14 year old Richard Ulevoid has been sent to live with his aunt and uncle in the remote town of Valentine. I'm going to have so much trouble pronouncing this. Richard quickly earns a reputation as an outcast, but when a classmate named Tom goes missing, everyone suspects the new angry boy is responsible. No one believes him when he says the telephone booth, out by the edge of the woods, sucked Tom into the receiver like something out of a horror movie. No one, that is, except Karen, a dueling fellow outsider who encourages Richard to pursue clues the police refuse to investigate. He traces the number from the phone booth to an abandoned house in the woods. There he catches a glimpse of a terrifying face in the window and then the voices start. When another classmate disappears, Richard must find a way to prove his innocence as he grapples with dark magic that is possessing Valentine. This sounds good and I'm excited. I have heard one review about this. And the person didn't like it. But I think I will. I'm excited. I love horror films. I love creepy houses. Might be too scared to go in one in real life. But that's not the point. Anyway. Time to pick my last and final book. And I wonder if my AI will either choose my first shelf. Or this shelf. Or maybe neither. <laughs> likes my series shelf. She chose number six, which is my Anna Huang shelf. So, um, there are two possible books you can choose because I have two series, because I have a Twisted series. You know, Twisted Love, Twisted Lies, Twisted Hate, Twisted Games. And then I also have the King series, but I am missing the last book. So there's two choices. So I'm excited. You just saw a slight uh, sneak peek of the book. So as you saw, um, my AI chose number one which was Twisted Love by Anne Huang. Pardon me. And then this is the bookmark I've chosen, which is a Howl's Moving Castle one. And then this is the blurb. Discover the addictive world of the Twisted series. Alex Volkov is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and cursed with a past he can't escape. Driven by a tragedy that has haunted him for most of his life, his ruthless pursuits for success and vengeance leave little room for matters of the heart, but when he's forced to look after his best friend's sister, he starts to feel something in his chest, a crack, a melt, a fire that, 
that could end his world as he knew it. Ava Chen is a free spirit trapped by nightmares of a childhood she can't remember, but despite her broken past, she never stopped seeing for beauty and power, including her heart beneath the icy exterior of a... not her heart... beneath the heart... beneath the icy exterior... Oh my god, I can't read. Including her heart beneath the icy exterior of a man she shouldn't want, her brother's best friend, her neighbour, her saviour and her downfall. Theirs is a love that was never supposed to happen, but when it does, it unleashes secrets that could destroy them both and everything they hold dear. This is brother's best friend and neighbour. Oh my god, I love brother's best friend. I think that's so cute. I also follow Anna Huang. Have I? Oh no, I've read Helen Wong. I'm so excited to read this. I would say my AI has made a good choice. So. <laughs> These are for books that my AI has chosen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment down below what videos you want me to do and questions and then I would happily do a Q&A video. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and press the subscribe button and the notification button so then you get a notification every single time I upload a brand new video. And I shall see you on the next one. I will try and film as much as I can of my holiday but I want to be present so I don't know how much I will film but yeah.